Hello everyone. Today we're going to create a quick and simple camera shake for this scene. Right now the scene is lacking the impact as this object crashes into the ground. In the description below I linked a simple Maya Mel script I wrote in 2017 called Shake Tool. I'm going to click on the Shake Tool right here. Now I'll go ahead and add a keyframe right before the impact in my shake offset for the camera. And the rotate X, the rotate Y, and the rotate Z. I'm going to click for a keyframe right there and then several frames later where we want the shake to die out. I'll put another keyframe. Here at the shake tool in the step min I'm going to select one and in the step max I'll enter three. For the value minimum I'll enter negative one and for the value maximum I'll enter one. This keeps the rotation of the animation curves between negative one and one. Now I select these keys in the graph editor and hit apply. Now you can see all of the random keyframes in between these initial keys that I set. From this point, I want to create a sine wave pattern throughout the scene. And I want to have it sort of die off towards the end here as the camera shake fades. So I'm just going to grab these front keys and I'm going to give them the highest values at the start of the impact. So I'm going to do this for all of the curves here. It's really these first two keys that are going to be my biggest values. Now I can use the region scale here and bring it over and stretch these curves out. Obviously this is going beyond my timeline, but I'm just going to delete these keys anyways and we're going to taper these keys off to zero. Basically I want the X and the Y in this case to mirror the value. We can leave the rotate Z to be a little smaller. So I can come over here to scale, uh, hit the option box, and I'll use a value like 0.8 that I can repeat to make this smaller. I can repeat this, or I can go the other way. So looking here, everything looks pretty good. Not quite as smooth as it should be, but we'll keep plucking away at it. Now I'm going to use the G key to repeat that command and sort of taper off these curves over here. They're basically going to reach zero. Now we're starting to get a smoother impact as time goes on and we're not going to see that. I'm going to take these keys right over here and I'm going to just make them zero and we're going to use that as our cutoff and stretch that out and delete these keys over here. Now I'm going to smooth this taper effect and I'm just keeping an eye out on all my curves, making sure I have these nice lines, these nice uh, sinusoidal lines basically. And now you can see having the difference between having no impact on the camera and an impact. Really brings life to this scene. Hopefully helps it nail the creative vision that we're looking for. If you have any thoughts or questions about this, leave a comment below. I'm going to try to do more of these previs tips and tricks in the future. Thanks for watching.